So um, it's eight in the evening and uh, I'm about four kilometers from home and already regretting all the stuff I packed with me. Today I'm giving myself a challenge. I'm going on an S24 or sub 24 hour overnighter, but I'm going to do it with a little twist. So the goal is to ride to a small little pond or lake about 400 height meters above the town and then sleep there and tomorrow morning I'm gonna race back home and start editing the movie and if everything goes as planned you can watch the movie on YouTube in less than 24 hours. This uh, sub 24 hour overnight is uh, great if you're itching to go out on a trip or you haven't got the time you don't even need a weekend you can just go off in the evening like I do now and uh, come back home before work the next day and in true uh, sub 24 hour overnight uh, fashion I'm running late and <laughs> the sun is about to set in an hour or something like that and I've still got an awful lot of climbing to dig Oh, this is just ridiculously steep. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. But the view is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Ooh. I'm getting there. I'll be honest, that was a pretty hard uh, ride up the last few hills, but I actually managed to do it without pushing the bike and that's, uh, that's not bad but now it's off to uh, camp and get some food and get the camp set and then it's good night Even though I was running out of daylight, I just had to vegetate for a few minutes down by the water, soaking in the calm evening. A light drizzle of rain reminded me that I'd better get the tarp up. The beauty of these short local overnighters is that you can bring a bit of luxury. I absolutely love my ultralight super compact Thermarest Neo Air sleeping pad, but it can't beat grandma's air mattress for comfort. Oh, this is an absolutely fantastic morning. In one of the last remnants of uh, old growth forest left in Norway. Couldn't ask for more. I'm only about, I don't know, 12, 13 kilometers from home, 450 meters above town. But it uh, feels like I'm on a, another planet. You'll have to excuse me for the lengthy clips of me preparing coffee and porridge in the morning. But again, isn't that what these trips really are about? All the little things we take for granted in our everyday lives. The joy of simple living, embracing a day where everything you do have its own inbuilt meaning and purpose.
Oh, that was nice. But uh, I know, I know, I know. Instant coffee. Don't judge me. Porridge time. I am so hungry after <laughs> forgetting those bloody lentils last night. Then it was time to pack my gear. I had about 10 hours to hurry home and get the movie finished. I could hardly wait to see what I had captured in the camera and was giddy and full of excitement as I put the memory card into the card reader and realised that half the clips were gone. Or so I thought, because the next morning I discovered that the iPad actually hadn't copied all the files from the memory card. So there you have it. My 24 hour bike packing movie challenge ended as a bit of a fail. That is, if you can call having a great local overnighter a fail.